everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna to be doing something that we've never done on the channel before and I'm super excited to cover it. As you guys know, I do drawing tutorials and creative things on the channel. With that comes having a sketchbook. So there's a lot of drawings in here that don't really make it to the final cut for tutorials or YouTube content. And that's kind of what I wanna show you guys is basically a sketchbook tour. Now of course, everything in this sketchbook is Star Wars because because. Because I said so, that's why. So you guys have seen this one before. This is Captain Rex. There's actually a tutorial on this, so if you're interested in learning how to draw this, um, actually I'm gonna pop a little card up right now. Next is Commander Boss from Republic Commando. Uh, I drew this right after I finished playing the remastered version on PlayStation 4. Love the game, can't wait for the sequel if that ever does happen. Here we have a little Cal Kestis sketchbooking. Um, we've got the tattoo, a holocron, the saber, little portrait, and then a heart that says Mirren because that needs to happen. We have some portraits of Hunter and Crosshair from the Bad Batch. Really enjoyed doing these. Uh, had a lot of fun doing the shading around all the wrinkles and stuff like that. And I think these turned out really good actually. This here is one of the early sketches for Zek Tassan, which is my custom Mandalorian. Uh, I have plans on building this cosplay one day. This is not the final design, but um, I think it's really cool, so. Here's another image of that. Again, not the final design. This here is some sketchbooking of a Ahsoka Mandalorian I was working on. Um, Ahsoka's my favorite character, so I thought it would be cool to merge Boba Fett and Ahsoka together because I also love Boba Fett like so much. So having a cosplay that represents these two characters, I was totally down for. Here's an early sketch of that design. And here's a finalized version of that design. Um, if I ever go and make this, it will look like this. Um, the inspiration is Ahsoka, Boba Fett, and then Kylo Ren with this little shawl here. Um, I might make it a different color, to be honest with you. I don't know if I would go with white, but I think this looks awesome, and I would love to make it someday. Here is a drawing I did of Captain Hauser, one of my favorite clone troopers. Um, I loved him in the Bad Batch, and I love the coloring of his armor. Very rarely do we see this color in Star Wars, so when it was brought in, I was uh, very fond of him immediately. Here's a sketch that I did of Boba from the Book of Boba Fett. Uh, gaffy stick and everything. Mandalorians with melee weapons are so dope. So naturally I love this and can't wait to get a gaffy stick for my Boba Fett cosplay uh, someday because that would just be so cool. Here is a more finalized version of Zectasan, but still not the final version. Um, this time I brought in some more classic uh, yellow colors and it's supposed to resemble the Kenner version of Boba Fett. Um, I thought that looked really cool. I liked the yellow gauntlet and the yellow shoulder pad with the mismatch. I'm a big fan of asymmetry in Star Wars. Um, really any costume design, I think it adds a lot of visual intrigue. So I wanted to add that in my own. Here is a sketch of Ahsoka from The Mandalorian. Uh, I am very proud of this. I think this turned out really good. Um, something happened with the nose here. I'm not quite sure. It doesn't doesn't look quite right, I'll have to go and fix that one day, but regardless, I really love this drawing and I'm very proud of it. Here's a sketch of Crosshair from the Bad Batch in his Imperial armor. I love this armor look. If I ever decide to do a Clone Trooper cosplay, it might just be Imperial Crosshair, I do. Here's a sketch of Boba with the helmet off from the Book of Boba Fett. Um, this is probably my best sketch of Tamira Morrison's face. I think I made his eyes a little bit too big, but I think it resembles the character pretty well. This is the final version of Zek Tassan. So multiple drawings, multiple sketches later, this is the one that I am in love with. I changed the helmet up, gave him the partisan helmet, um, which has these little angles that go into the visor here. I uh, gave him a more green cape, I adopted the mismatched breastplates like I had on the Ahsoka Mandalorian, but still kept the um, mismatched yellow armor pieces here. 
and I just really like how this looks. I cannot wait to build this armor one day. Um, and if you guys are curious to know this character's story, I actually have a podcast about it. So if you check out my podcast, the Cal West's podcast, I know it's such a complex name, and I read you this character's story that I wrote. So if you're interested, go check it out. Link in the description. This is a TIE Fighter pilot helmet that I designed. Um, I added this middle tooth red and then did a little crossbone thing. And I thought it would be cool to maybe do a TIE Fighter uh, pilot cosplay. And I created my own squadron called the Crossbone Squadron. And I, I don't know, I was just messing around one day and I was like, this would be cool. This is a drawing of Anakin from Kenobi. This is probably one of the best drawings in this uh, entire sketchbook. Um, and I just labeled it Anakin is gone with the cracked mask. Um, I had a lot of issues with the Kenobi show, but I really loved this scene. So I wanted to recreate it and draw it. And one thing that I really like about this is the scarring on the skin and all the red like blemishes and rashes and all that uncomfortableness that's under uh, Vader's suit. I really think I nailed that and I'm really pleased with this drawing. This is a drawing of me as Cal Kestis for the upcoming fan film sequel to The Foretelling, uh, just called Kestis. And this is the design that we're playing around with, so I'll give you guys a little bit of sneak peek on that. I think it looks awesome. The inspiration is having a Bespin Luke style jacket with the Survivor uh, shirt and then the Fallen Order pants. Um, so it's supposed to be a culmination of all of those things. We're going to be showing a darker version of Cal, like how we saw a darker version of Luke uh, in, in Kestis, and he's going to have to make decisions that are going to define who he is, similar to Luke. So we wanted, we wanted to kind of embody that and do a little nod to uh, the best sequel movie ever made, Empire Strikes Back. And that's the entirety of my sketchbook. Mm -hmm. So guys, that is gonna wrap up this week's video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this inspired you to go and sketch up some things in your own sketchbooks at home or do something creative. Uh, that's the point of this channel. It's the point of this video. If you're interested in seeing my work with official LEGO Star Wars, there's a link in the description below that will take you to a couple of tutorials that I did with the official LEGO Star Wars group. I still can't believe I'm able to say those words. You guys have a great day and may the fourth be with you, always.